tribe welcome back to my channel and let's go let's do another weekly prediction let's see what's waiting for you and today I felt like I wanted to give you images to pick from so for pile number one we have this frog for pile number two we have this puma I assume dressed up as a shaman for pile number three we have a dream catcher and I'm paying attention to these feathers as well as a claw so see what resonates with you at this very time and I would say don't pay attention too much at what tarot cards we have here choose purely on what draws your eye and i'm going to see you in timestamps hello tribe whoever has chosen pile number one let's see what is your energy like the next week week and a half or what needs to be highlighted I'm gonna adjust the camera in a minute. Okay, let's look at this. bottom of a deck we have the page of wands maybe you recently have a stronger connection than before or you will have the next week week and a half with birds and um, specifically an owl or I'm getting an eagle it's gonna be a, a week where you you and I'm actually smelling sage now which is interesting <laughs> um, I had to even stop where you want to cleanse either your body or your space and I think if you've done this already you're going to see how that impacts you the coming week um, the clarity of mind is what you are seeking for and what you are craving for the next week you're very sharp with your thoughts mm, I wouldn't be surprised if people next week wanted to learn more about one specific top topic or subject um, if they were recognized for their knowledge complimented on their experience or knowledge um, you coming across as a smart ass to someone but in the best way possible <laughs> and uh, some of you might want to do some sort of a ritual that cleanses your space and at the same time cleanses your mind I'm sorry if you are able to hear the washing machine in the background. I have a lot to do today. So I'm trying to juggle everything. With three of pentacles and three uh, wise masters, I do wanna say what would be beneficial to do or to look at. Let me just pull from the steampunk keeper. I feel like there's one more card that wants to join this three of pentacles. Is to learn from people who are slightly different than you. Especially if you want to collaborate with someone on a project, on an idea. Yeah, look what flipped. We have abundance. Your abundance lies in working with people, in sharing ideas. All these three, um, I wanted to say people, animals. They're wearing animal heads, actually, so we don't know what's behind it. They have different personalities, different knowledge, different experiences, different type of living or routines and i feel like it would be beneficial if people came together the next week to discuss something that is related to work career financial stability that's where your power lies let's see what you are focused on the next week week and a half or what needs to be highlighted what needs to be highlighted what are you focused on the next week we can have high honors yeah I mean come on you have a very important week when it comes to 
documents, formalities, getting stamps, being recognized for your knowledge and expertise. So expect good things coming your way in your careers, in your studies. Even if you don't have a job and if you don't study right now, someone is going to recognize your potential. Let's see, what are you cleansing? What are you cleansing next week, week and a half? Okay, whatever doesn't make me happy, it's got to go. <laughs> okay, let's see what that is about. Whatever doesn't make me happy, it's got to go. Or maybe you're just cleansing your, your mind or your environment in order for you to see your life a little bit more clearly. You may feel like there is a fog. Would it be an energetic fog? Would it be a... Um, if you don't eat properly or you eat junk food for X amount of days and you start noticing how you're not feeling good, you want to change this. Next week, it would be a good time to do so. What are you purging here? What are you purging? What are you purging? Okay, look, it feels like you're bored of the same thing. You want to invite new energies into your life. Done this, been there, I'm familiar with that. I feel like I need newness into my life and you are inviting it, let's see how. Let's see how. Someone might not like this um, or someone may have an opinion on that. Let's see how, yeah. Um, maybe there is gonna be a potential either in a conflict or conflict with someone else because you say, you know what, I don't want this anymore. I want to make a change. Specifically, again, what's coming through is your finances or long-term plans. And because I wanna change this, um, I need to think about this. I need to think what is my next step. But you're in inviting newness. Um, some of you don't be surprised if after this cleansing period of time, would it be the actual detox, would it be cleaning your house and the energy in the house you suddenly notice after a couple of days that you have an opportunity this new opportunity came through because something had to go um, something was cluttering your mind or your space that didn't allow this ace of pentacles to come in mm -hmm. let's see what else It's a really good week for new contracts, guys. Uh, taking care of documents, formalities, all of that stuff. Finding people that you want to work with or whom you want to walk with. What do we need to know about relationships? Platonic, romantic. What do we need to know about relationships? Platonic, romantic. let's see what do we need to know about relationships platonic romantic Ooh. okay clarifying the seven of swords with the two of swords very mysterious to say the least very mysterious to say the least okay this is a very straightforward message so i don't know for how many of you this is going to be someone doesn't want to reveal that they have either a new job or they're thinking about a new collaboration a new partnership with someone else someone is being a little bit secretive about what they are trying to build um, behind the scenes but whoever is the person who doesn't know about that whom to whom this is not revealed to they intuitively will pick up that something is not revealed to me so they might start asking questions as if someone is building something behind someone's back um, i don't know what is the reason why they don't want to let the other person know what is their next step? What is their next intention? But it seems like they're trying to keep it under wraps so much. We have the moon, we have seven of swords, and in this deck, the two of swords is also quite a mysterious card. Why are they doing that? Why are they doing that? Because they are not getting enough where they're at. 
they're taking what they need, what they're craving for, for from somewhere else without the other person knowing. I have a better partnership on the side. I have something better for me outside of where I am. Why are they doing that? Very analytical, calculated and smart person to say the least. They are ready for a new proposal. So I'm seeing a situation where someone says no to someone in order to say yes to someone else. Where will this lead them? Yeah. Quite a passionate, quite a fiery start. Or at least something that they, they are passionate about and they want to fight for. They had an eye on this opportunity, this person, uh, opportunity to collaborate or work with someone else for a while. And next week they're just taking action. They're taking action. What else do we need to know about this? What else do we need to know about this? It's gonna come as a surprise to a person who is very emotionally mature. Someone who's more tapped into their emotions because we have someone else who is not as emotional. It's gonna come as a surprise, this new offer that someone is taking, this new opportunity that's coming um, their way. It's like sweeping someone off their feet. Um, aha moment, I knew this. I felt something about the situation. Mm -hmm. I don't know for how many of you this story is, but it's honestly a very complicated situation. There's um, at least um, three or four people involved here and someone is being quite secretive about their moves. Maybe it's for a reason because they know that they don't, they cannot say it just yet if it's work related. Mm, I cannot tell my boss that I found, um, I'm going to an interview, right? My current boss. Um, or I cannot tell, I appreciate this person, but I cannot tell them that because they are my friend, that they are not a good partnership for what I'm trying to do. It would be devastating to them, so I'm deciding not to say anything until I figure out where this new partnership um, is going or this new connection can take me. Hmm. Okay. What is making you happy the next week, week and a half? Let's see. And I'm using the triple goddess deck. What is making you happy next week, week and a half, my tribe? What is making you happy? I don't know why, but I'm hearing that I am being shown a way to independence. Especially if you have your own business. Independence and oof. What you're happy about is that you're receiving some sort of spiritual help. Spiritual guidance in order for you to set yourself free. In order for you to feel and to step into independence. Your mind is much clearer. You're very focused on your craft. You're very determined. And consistency is a big deal here. Consistency, where I'm trying to get. I feel like one of your wishes may be coming true the next week. What is this connected to? What is this connected to? Too many. What is this connected to? Your work. Overall, you're smashing your um, careers the next week, week and a half. Your projects, your business. I feel like a lot of things are improving in that area of life. Um, you feel accomplished. You feel like you are very successful in your endeavors. You have this entrepreneur spirit and drive. And it feels like you enjoy what you do very much. That's where your happiness lies. But you, you are spiritually led to make decisions. So trust your guidance. If you need more content, 
uh, Patreon. Thanks for being here overall and have a beautiful week. Until the next time. Bye for now. Hey try pile number two people. Let's see what is up with you the next week, week and a half. I'm just trying to choose a deck that I want for you. I feel like vice versa tarot is a good match for your energy. Let's go. Next week, we can have what do we need to know about what is the vibe like? Let's let gravity do the work. Mm -hmm. We have chariot reversed. What is the vibe? Vibe what? How can I speak? Vibe like. So I've done a per long, long personal reading before doing YouTube and now I feel like my energy and my mouth, my mouth is not cooperating with my brain, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Let me sit with this for a minute. I want to make sure that pile number two does not overwork, overwork themselves the next week because I'm seeing you juggling quite a lot of things and specifically when it comes to giving advice to other people. You've got a lot on your plate and you're very focused, which is very nice. You're very focused, you're very driven, but I feel like... There might be one person or two who might need advice from you, but it's going to be at a time when you're super maybe drained or tired. So if you feel like you don't have enough energy for you and someone else, just be honest with them and say, hey, could, could we speak later because I really feel like I'm not a good person energy-wise to maybe listen to you fully um, or to give you a valuable advice because I'm just lacking energy myself right now. So just be very honest with people uh, because I feel like someone is coming your way um, who might have gone through a conflict with their partner or their boss or their colleague, friend, doesn't matter. And they really need your help, but you are just in a rut. You're like, I cannot, no. What is the highlight of your next week, week and a half? We have the world, we have the sun, oof, the empress, and I want to pull from the steampunk keeper deck, I just dropped half of the deck on the floor, beautiful. Mm. What is the highlight? You're very mysterious to someone. You know what? You have this energy about you the next week, week and a half that is super mysterious for other people. And um, you're a little bit unattainable. But remember, what is the highlight of the week? It seems like that's actually going to bring you happiness. Because people are really... They want to honor you. They want to come closer to you. You're going to maybe experience quite a lot of compliments. You know, compliments from people you don't expect to get compliments from. I think an advice would be be mysterious next week. It's gonna pull a lot of people your way. And um, it's not that you're gonna be asking for advice. This is a different story. They will want to provide to you. They will want to prove themselves to you. And I think it will be needed for you the next week, week and a half. You will need that energy. Where does your happiness lie? Where does your happiness lie? Okay, I'm clarifying the sun card. You're, you're seeing straight through bullshit. So you're going to be very straightforward with people the next week. And I think it's going to be beneficial to someone's case. And you're also being thanked for your honesty. 
Thank you for being no BS friend. Thank you for being no BS person that I can turn to. You are amazing. Okay, what is your happiness like? Specifically, um, there is some sort of connection with a young masculine energy. Mm -hmm. Where does your focus lie? Next week, we're gonna have. Mm -hmm. You wanna explore? Let's see. It makes sense with a chariot card here. You may be thinking about changing environments, thinking about a trip or planning one. Let's see, let's take this aside for now. Mm -hmm. Yep, here you go, Six of Swords. Um, yeah, in a tower. Look, when it comes to plans that connect to trips, vacations, um, holidays or work trips, I feel like be ready for the unexpected because either the plans have to be changed or there might be some sort of delay or completely spontaneous change of plans. Let me see how you're going to like this. Okay, you're open, you're flexible, so this is good. You're not as bothered that there is change of plan of some sort, of something doesn't go the way that you planned exactly, because you know that this is going to take you somewhere even greater. My spontaneous people yeah um, and also if there is someone that you go in there with or if you wishing to meet someone it seems like that change of plans will just benefit this connection because maybe otherwise it wasn't the right time or it wasn't uh, maybe a, a, I don't know, it's it's very complex because there's so many watching. It wasn't the right date, or if you decide to go on a trip and you um, say you're going to Disneyland, so you're going to that specific lo location, right? And then suddenly, maybe one of your favorite rides is shut off. And you go, I'm gonna spend less time there then and I'm gonna go somewhere else. And when you decide to spend less time there and split it and maybe explore some other place because you have more time now, you go, shit, but that was kind of even better. Look what I found. Look what additional experience I have now. Otherwise, I would have just spent all my time in Disneyland, which this what I see now is much, much better. So be open for that. Okay, let's see what else. And I wanna take these cards back and I'm gonna be using a different deck. And in this pile pile two, all decks are jumping out of my hands. So I feel like there's gonna be a moment where you will have to be flexible and let something fall and watch it fall and go, okay, what does that mean to me? What do we need to know about career finances, your projects, your endeavors, the next week, week and a half? I honestly feel like a lot of people are going to be drawn to take extra time off or during that week you'll feel drawn to maybe work from home or not take your job too seriously to have a better work and life balance.
some of you for example if you are used to having your lunch indoors you're gonna decide to take that lunch somewhere outside sit on a grass next to a tree you um, feel quite light-hearted you're approaching your your job from a more light-hearted perspective which will make you feel very free which will make you feel more relaxed than maybe a last couple of weeks you're like okay let me flow with this Some of you may be drawn to learning something new. Some of you may be drawn to learning something new. Again, those people are in the water. I feel like... There is a need of rejuvenation for your heart space the next week, week and a half. Because some of you maybe worked really hard before or overburdened yourself with what you are trying to achieve. Next week, you're being asked to give your heart or your body a bit of rest. So your priority lies in a better work life balance, okay? Some of you are meeting friends, some of you are spending time by the water, having that lunch outside, working from home but from your garden instead of indoors there is that connection to the outdoors and your work the next week this is not for everyone but for some of you your beloved deceased would it be a grandma um, I'm, I'm sensing a female who was a female um, is going to be guiding you in your work the next week week and a half listen to what nudges you are getting you're gonna sense their presence okay now let's look at your relationships would it be platonic would it be romantic what can you expect from your relationships and i'm gonna use the healing light tarot i believe that's how it's called we have the ten of pentacles family is a priority spending more time with family gathering sun yes sense of security you might even go for a dance together you'll feel like dancing you might be organizing a party together very secure very beautiful relationships the next week you feel secure you feel protected you feel safe you want to spend more time with your loved ones you might even organize um, some sort of activity together. Yeah, dance. Um, go dancing with people that you love, honestly. That is your advice. Or start planning the next week. A social event, okay? Start planning a social event. Would it be going partying? Would it be going clubbing? Would it be go in dining would it be bringing everyone together and just having fun and letting go and relaxing very beautiful vibe pile number two so i hope this made sense if you need extra content if you want to join me on patreon if you need relationship readings i have another channel I brought back Aqua Arcana name, which was my first channel's name, and I made a separate channel if you want to check it out. And until the next time, beautiful people, bye. Hello, people. Number three. Let's see what is up with you the next week, week and a half. Mm -hmm. Which decks are we using for you all? I feel like I want the... Santa Muerte deck, let's go. Okay, first card flip, let's see what we got. We have the Three of Pentacles. Sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the background. Gotta do what you gotta do. 
<laughs> Maybe for some of you that's a hint. Take care of the household, because <laughs> I looked at this card, Three of Pentacles, and I, and I thought of gardening, taking care of your home space, specifically taking care of your plants or wanting to buy new plants next week, week and a half. And there will be a reason why I wanna do that. Some of you lack grounding, so that's why you're gonna to want to have a contact with the earth. Others of you, you will want to buy either supplements or buy a plant that resonates with you, but pay attention to the meaning, to the what that plant does for the body. What powers does it have? What magic powers does it have? Because you're gonna have a clue what you need and why you bought that plant. is a labyrinth let's see listen you may have quite vivid dreams the next week week and a half and um, your subconscious will be showing you what needs to be paid attention to through dreams um, through either people that you meet in your dream but most of all I would say what's important is where you at in a dream and how you feel about being there your subconscious will be hinting at you Not I'm hearing find the way out, but you will find a solution. Anything that is troubling you right now, the first thing that came to mind, you're going to resolve it the next week, week and a half. So there is no need to worry. Or you're going to have a dream that gives you valuable information about it. What is the highlight of the next week, week and a half? Let's see. What is the highlight? This Eight of Swords always reminds me of the Eight of Wands. Every freaking time. The highlight of the week. up to this is definitely not for all of you the highlight for a week you're going to be glad that you have taken time to think things through before signing any contract or before planting any seed like a new project new relationship because intuitively you're going to be very guided there's something off I'm hearing about this there's something off about this offer or opportunity there is something lacking so give yourself a moment to feel it through. Your dreams are going to be uh, super freaking vivid. You might even notice that something happens that you already dreamt of. Someone is glad that they didn't, they are not going to start something. I'm so glad I had a feeling in my gut not to go for this this is only for those who felt this way already i don't want people not taking opportunities because they're taking um general reading straightforwardly this is for those who you're gonna have a bodily feeling something is off why though yeah see you very protect you protective over it you're gonna feel very protective yourself so Pay, atten pay attention to who feels like they are they could interfere into your life or they could cause some kind of damage or disruption or you just want to step back away from them okay so the highlight of, of the week is that you're listening to your freaking gut <laughs> or you're listening to your dreams you're decoding your dream and you're like, uh-huh. 
let's see what we need to know about your relationships platonic romantic oh we love that for you You know what I'm getting with this someone is going to maybe this is you this is this could be vice versa someone goes listen let's be spontaneous let's take this trip or let's try this thing out let's try I don't know bungee jumping let's try or it's been a while that we uh, we played tennis we went on adventure. It's time to get up. It's time to get up. It's time for a spark in our connection. So be inspirational for one another. But I feel like specifically one person will want to do that. Be like, listen, we can do so many things with the time that we have. Why don't, why don't we spend it a better way? Especially if someone feels like, oh, another day, another day. Relationship-wise, you're being asked to experiment. Would it be in a bedroom as well? Experiment. Take yourselves out for a date. Would it be platonic, romantic? Doesn't matter. Go on adventures. Next week is, what did I say? Split the deck. Go for adventures. Especially if there is some sort of connection to water. You may want to make it a routine. Every weekend I'm going paddle boarding or every weekend I'm going surfing, every weekend I'm going on a boat, right? Every weekend I'm going doing this. It's like um, someone needs um, or going to discover a new routine, a, vi a, a more fun routine. And it doesn't necessarily have to involve someone else. It could be you on your own, okay? Now, what we need to know about finances and career next week, week and a half. What do we need to know about finances and career next week, week and a half? Whoop. The chariot. Some of you might be doing something or focusing on a project that is quite creative because I'm seeing a lot of colors. I'm seeing nice designs. Um, you may feel that you want to step into creativity more. And I feel like that would be a really good thing to do because through how you work, what kind of aesthetics you have around you or what you wear, or maybe you're doing something artistic or creative, your personality is making you money. Your aesthetic vibe is making you money. Because it's go you're going to be different you're going to be seen for how different you are mm -hmm. some of you have to be patient until we see the results but you, next week your finances, um, I feel like they're stable here. They're stable, but you're waiting for something to happen. Let's see what. You're waiting for a breakthrough here with a tower. Okay. What is the advice? What is the advice? Make up your mind. Make up your mind, what is your priority? I feel like what you will need to focus on is the boring parts of a job. You are super creative people, but next week you might need to take care of those parts that you're not as excited about, but it's part of a job. Formalities, contacts, emails, setting up websites or improving that, um, upgrading it. That's when you're going to be happy and that's when you're going to start seeing more results, I feel like. 
some of you are focused on calculating your money um, you are trying to understand if what you invest your time in if you're gonna get a reasonable amount back reasonable amount back um, it's a week of strategies but cre creativity is the first thing that you look at and you understand that hey okay I have this thing happening I need to step into a more into this Queen of Swords energy I can't be as creative as I want or as unique as I want in my endeavors my product my services are great maybe or how a work is very unique, right? What I'm capable of. But then I have to be a better business person. I have to sell myself better. I have to look at the charts, I have to calculate, I have to do this and that and that. And I feel like next week that's where your focus lies. You might not be super excited about that for some of you, but I feel like that's gonna be beneficial in the long run, okay? So if you need extra content, I have Patreon if you'd like to join me there. And I also have a second channel, whoever doesn't know. I brought back an old name, Aqua Arcana, um, and it should be linked down below. So if you want to, that channel is based on relationships. It's new, so there are not too many videos just yet. But hoping that uh, we're going to have many more in the future. So hope you have a beautiful week. Smash it, pile free, and until the next one. Bye.